Hello everyone, welcome to Let's Play Clash of Clans episode number 13. Um, today we're going to be looking at the base, how I am going right now. Uh, as you can see, I got all of my wells to level 8, so that's 225 out of 225. I currently have 5.8 million gold and 4.2 million elixir. So my resources are pretty much maxed out. Uh, currently my Teslas are going to level 6, this one needs 5 hours, this one a day and 22 hours, and that one just a day. So we're almost getting uh, maxed out defenses, maxed out base, then the very last thing I need to upgrade is this one barrack together with this giant bomb and this giant bomb and then everything I have for this uh, level is maxed out except um, two upgrades which is the golem and the valkyrie, um, none of them I have ever used and I don't feel the need of using them. I really do not like um, Gowiwi, so I know it's like a two-star strategy, not really a three-star strategy, so I don't really prefer it. Um, currently, I am going up in trophies. I'm now at 1,747 trophies, and um, I'm using the Balloonian uh, attack strategy. So I got 24 balloons uh, when I max, like when I actually use this. So 24 uh, level five balloons and 40 level four minions. Um, my balloons cannot go up anymore. Uh, but they do have a really big disadvantage over a um, level 6 balloon because they have like 150 health less and like 40 damage less or something. So um, I really want those level 6 ones to get with level 5 minions so that would be a great combo for that. Um, I am using the Balloonian strategy to get some um, Dark Elixir. So let's go take a look at the rates I've gotten uh, recently. So my attack locks like a thousand Dark Elixir, a thousand... Uh, 330, 1700, 800, so a lot of stuff but not many replays are left, uh, so let's just take a look at this one. Um, I usually tend to use the um, healing spells because the rage spells do help them a lot, but healing spells keep them alive a lot longer and they really need more healing than um, rage spell usage, uh, so I tend to use that more. So I attack Jack from Moretto, uh, I deployed all my balloons at the bottom and followed them up with minions. Uh, it's just to take out the Dark Elixir basically, but I got a 2 star on this one, so I actually uh, managed to get the Town Hall as well. So just going to speed this up a little bit. As you can see, the balloons, if they get a um, healing spell on them, they're really effective and can last a lot longer. Uh, this guy hasn't gotten like much loot or something, but I'm really not looking for a lot of gold or a lot of Elixir, because I got a lot of resources available. Um, so I got a thousand Dark Elixir from this one and 12 trophies. So that's basically what I'm trying to do now, just hunt some uh, small trophies, gain a little, lose a little, but just make sure to get some Dark Elixir, because I tend to use Hogs a lot lately. Um, I only have 18k left, I had like 30k, but whenever I go over 20k Dark Elixir, my base seems to be a priority target, because now I got like 6 million gold, and I've barely been rated for my gold, like, um, my defense log. So here I lost 109k, but then it's like, um, like a day and a half ago, since I actually got rated for a lot of my stuff, and before that it's another two days, and then here I got rated a lot because I had a lot of Dark Elixir, but actually it, it's going pretty good, so like a real rate that destroyed me is like three days ago, um, I think I got three star like ones. I'm not too sure, but as you can see, like here I lost like a thousand seven hundred dark elixir. So I had a lot available, but now I lost a lot because we have uh, we started a clan war again. So um, I use my hawk riders to actually destroy these guys. We are fighting Il Clan Abusivo, uh, which are Italians, I suppose. Uh, we executed 79 attacks with 88 um, stars secured and I got the most heroic attack so I am currently the number 40 out of 45 of my clan and I attacked their number 26 which is a Town Hall 9. Uh, it was pretty easy to actually lure out his clan castle. I used two hawks at the bottom and the queen got pulled as well. Then I used another hawk to get to the king and then I drew them to the side. I uh, chose the bottom side right there. Because I wouldn't get attacked by uh, the archer tower or anything, I could have chosen the top as well, but I tend to attack more through the bottom. I'm not really sure why that is, but um, it is actually what it is. So I used 33 hawk riders and uh, 35 archers together with my clan castle, which is 5 archers and 5 wizards. 
to take out everything then I use my hog riders in front of them so they can clean up after the hog riders and I don't lose too many troops so in case of losing uh, like a lot of hog riders and uh, to not get out of time I um, use them in front of my other uh, attackers so wizards and archers so I deployed my first uh, healing spell at the bottom then I went up top um, used the second one and on the left top another one so my hog riders got spread out and stuff but they did manage to uh, get themselves healed up enough with my healing spells so there were a lot at the bottom which didn't get healed up but uh, eventually my hog riders uh, managed to actually pull it off because um, the wizards and uh, everything helped out as well so here we're finished now we just need to clean up this base go to speed this up uh, and we successfully got a three star so that was like the most heroic attack from our clan which i'm really proud of so i got uh, two three stars on higher targets than my recommended one just because i found myself a good raider um, i feel like i can easily raid town hall nines if i just play it smart and hawk riders are really strong so i don't see why i should attack my recommended target and not let them um, get attacked by weaker players from our clan. So uh, in total we are currently at um, 88 to 40 but there's still 4 hours left so I hope they don't plan a massive comeback because I got 625k resources available as well as 2k dark elixir so that would cover up the cost of my hogs just a little which I would find really awesome. So. Um, this is basically going to wrap up the episode, I got much to talk about, I'm just going to plan one more raid with my minions and my balloons, so I'm going to look for one, um, and as for the rest, uh, very soon, probably when my <laughs> Teslas are done, I'm uh, going to try and get myself into Masters, I've been talking about this a lot, but I really plan on doing this, um, everything in my base is maxed out. So I can actually go for it, I feel like I have a very, very strong base to um, get up there it will be hard probably but I will tend to get there and hopefully by the end of next month I will have my town hall upgraded to 9 as well uh, if I come back from masters so I hope you guys enjoyed this now let's get one more raid before we end this okay so this guy looks like we can actually take him on um, I'm not really sure from where I'm going to try and attack I think I'm going to try and get through the bottom so drop a healing spell right here on top of this one and on top of uh, this one. So my balloons should get in. Um, going to spread them out evenly and hopefully they will get to the dark elixir and um, the elixir pumps. So let's drop a couple there, a couple there. Use a healing, use a healing and follow up with all of my minions. I think I got some more minions and some archers, yes indeed, in my clan castle, which is absolutely awesome. I got level 6 minions from a clan mate, so <laughs> that's really sick to help me out. Hopefully they will actually get to the middle, because sometimes I get this, like, I deploy my minions right in the middle, but they tend to spread out too much, so I don't get what I need. But uh, it seems like I'm going to get this raid pulled off. Um, this might actually become a 2 star, if I'm a little bit lucky, if that, yes that one got taken out so I'm going to have to deal with one more um, air defense but that shouldn't be too much of a problem I suppose because I have a lot of minions left so I got all his dark elixir and no no I don't think I will get this two star this will be too hard but you know we tried so we're getting there or maybe if I get lucky no I never get lucky I will not get this okay so not a two star but 74% uh, dealt out I don't want to use my king on this one so basically that executed this raid, so I got 6 trophies, 1114 dark elixir and over 180k elixir. So that will bring us to the end of this episode, I hope you guys enjoyed this, if you did make sure to smack that like button, uh, I really appreciate the likes you guys give me, because that will give me more attention on my videos, uh, as my video of my Max Type Barbarian King, the Let's Play episode 9, got a lot of views and I got, got a lot of likes, so I really uh, like the support you guys give me. So please smack that like button again to uh, execute this. So I hope you enjoyed this. Subscribe, like, comment and uh, I hope you guys will stay tuned for my Road to Masters Downhill 8. That's it. I'm out. Peace.